Hi friends, welcome to Natya Aerobics and Natya Shakti Yoga with Prajyoti Madhusudan. Um, today in this video, I'm going to be starting uh, the low impact dance exercise routine. I'll do just two steps again from this routine. We will break it down into smaller steps and I'll take you step by step through each movement so that you learn the right technique and the right uh, method of doing the steps. I have uh, included a few folk dance steps from different parts of India just to give you the feel of uh, Indian culture. Uh, it's a fun dance. Love this music by Pramath Kiran and I've enjoyed choreographing the dance for this piece of music. So let's start. Uh, I have posted the warm up routines uh, on uh, my channel. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like and do share. And don't forget to uh, press the bell icon so that you get notifications of new uploads. Please do consult your physician and take it easy. If you feel dizzy or you feel breathless, please do stop. Have water with you. If you get tired, just take a break and drink some water. But don't drink too much of water because you do get cramps if you're having a, a lot to drink and then doing a cardio workout. Though I will be taking this quite slowly. I'm just, you know, it's just better to be safer. Okay, right, so let's get started. Uh, we are going to, I'm just going to do the leg movements as always. I'll do the leg movements first, then the arms, and then we will match the two. Now these steps are a little more challenging because you have to coordinate the movements and do it to music. So it will take a little time for you to get the right uh, technique while doing the dance. But don't rush and don't get upset, don't get frustrated. Just take your time and enjoy your workout. Okay, so stand with your feet together. Let us start by taking our right leg across to the left. Now. I'm taking my left leg while I say right, just so that I can mirror you, okay? So you please do your right. So right, you tap the tip of your toes, bring it back. Tap your left toes, bring it back. Tap your right, bring it back. Tap your left, bring it back. Now it's very important that you stretch your leg, stretch. And when you stretch one leg, you will bend the other leg, okay? You will bend this leg. So reach as you tap reach okay if you just do this you may not get the same amount of workout as you should okay so you have to make your movements nice and big so please just tap step tap step tap step tap step okay so let's do that again i'm going to add a count to that okay. five six seven Eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's very, very, very important to remember to engage your core. So squeeze your core muscles because that also supports your back and you have a better balance. Okay. Now, remember that movement. We'll just do the arms. Let us start with one arm. Keep your palms in front of your chest. Let's start just with the right. You stretch your right all the way up, pointing your fingers. Make sure your arms are nice and straight whenever you move your arms. Okay. So you bring that and bring it back, stretch, bring it back, stretch, bring it back, stretch, bring it back. Now repeat the same on your left, stretch down towards your toe that you're going to point on the floor. So stretch, bring it back, stretch, bring it back, stretch, bring it back, stretch, bring it back. Okay, now we'll do both together, but that's the movement. So you stretch your right arm up, left arm down, so it's a diagonal line. Then you bring it back. Now you will stretch your left arm, and your right arm will be down. It's a diagonal line, bring it back. 
So diagonal line, bring it back. Diagonal line, bring it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, it's a good idea to look at your fingers, the one that when your palm goes down. So you know that you're pointing towards your toe when you stretch your leg, okay? So it helps when you look at your finger. So let's try that again. Just look at the palm that's down. Starting again by lifting your right arm up. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. So now we're going to add our arms and legs together. So match them up. So let's start with our legs. We're going to take it really slowly because this can be a little confusing. So I'm going to take it really slowly. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Repeat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep those legs moving. Now bring your arms to your chest. Okay, we will start with one arm so that you don't get confused. Six, seven, now just lift your right arm up. One, bring it back. Left arm up, two, bring it back. Right arm up, three, bring it back. Left, bring it back. Right, bring it back. Left, bring it back. Right. Now we're going to add both arms. So when you take your right arm up, you're going to take your left arm down for one, look at your toes. Two, look at your fingers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep going. The thing with dance is it's only practice. The more you practice, the easier it gets and it becomes muscle memory. So you don't really need to think about it. You can just keep moving without even thinking about what steps you're doing. One, two, three. But when you stretch your arms, stretch your legs and hold your core, you're really working your muscles. You're really engaging your muscles and you're toning your abs while you do that. So remember to uh, hold your core tight. One, two, three. Is it getting easier because you're just repeating that movement? Six. Now let's speed it up a little. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Shall we try it a little faster? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now, if you want to add a little cardio workout to that, you can add a little jump. But again, you have you don't have to rush into it, and do it only if it is okay for you to be adding that extra energy into it. This also gives you a cardio workout if you keep repeating it. So don't push yourself to do more than your body allows you to do. But if you can, and you want to add a little hop, so you would go lift, step, and when you bring your right leg back, you will hop back into that step, and lift the left leg, tap, hop, 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 tap. tap okay so do you want to try that again now we'll try and do this with the arms but only if you can please do not try it if it's going to hurt your knees or your hips or your back or your feet or you feel too uh, breathless or so take it easy do it slowly i mean the video is there once you've learned the step once you're comfortable with doing the movement you can then add those little bits to make it a little more challenging okay so please build up your stamina first before you get into any of these movements but i'm just showing you this
for people who can perhaps challenge themselves a little more if you're doing other forms of workout and you have a little you have the stamina you can probably do this okay it will definitely get your heart rate up so ready five six seven eight and add a hop one two three four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two one well done super duper so remember that step that is the first major movement uh, in this uh, routine the next step is again a little tricky but let's break it down and do it so these are the two steps for today okay so you're going to tap your right leg to the side and then bring it back tap your left leg out bring it back so again it's the tip of the toe center 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 shall we do that a little faster one two three four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two one so that's the movement for your legs now arms let's do the arms again i'll make the arm movement easier to start with and then add the other bits okay so just keep your arms straight at shoulder level now i want you to bring your fingers up like this as though they're facing the sky swing to your side and bring your right arm forward so if swinging to your left your right arm goes forward left arm goes back and then you'll swing to your right left arm goes forward right arm goes back so you'll go one and two and three and four did you get that movement when you do it with the with the leg movements you're not actually going to swing so much i just want you to get the feel of how to move the arm that's at the shoulder level okay so let's try doing that now without swinging so you just go one bring that arm forward but this remains out here take it back this goes across take it back it goes across take it back it goes across take it back one two three four five six seven eight that's the first part of the movement now when you bring your right arm forward you will also take your left arm up and then you're just going to swing your left arm forward when your right arm goes up you need to swing your right arm forward left arm goes up swing your left arm forward right arm goes up let's do that again keep repeating this and one bring your left arm up and two right arm up and three and four so the arm that's up comes across the arm that's across goes up so you will go one and two and three and four now this one we're going to add the leg movements to this so the leg movements are easier it's the arm movements that are a little tricky so keep your arms moving soften your knees a little and cross now when you bring your right arm down take your right leg out and bring it together take your left leg out bring it together right leg out bring it together left leg out bring it together right leg out together left leg out together right leg out together in this movement you will feel the stretch in your midriff and in your sides and in your inner thighs so you're really going to work your muscles and tone them so again so shall we do it a little faster one and two and three and four and five and six and seven 
and eight and relax good job are your arms hurting yeah you see you see dance is such a fabulous form of exercise i mean you don't think of anything else all you're thinking about is the movement and you're enjoying the movement once you learn these steps and you do them as a whole dance routine it's a fabulous feeling because you really are enjoying the music enjoying the movement getting a good workout you feel your cardio workout you feel your muscles working and i can promise you if you do it regularly you will tone up you will improve your stamina and your fitness level will just go up okay so it's just a matter of consistency i all the workouts the complete collection is going to be available on my website soon it's being uh, cre uh, created at the moment so very soon everything will be available on demand so i thought it's a good idea for me to just teach you all the steps so when it's out you can start working out uh, I also do fitness classes uh, every morning, Monday to Thursday, 6.30 to 7.30 GMT, that is UK time. Uh, the, the information about that, the details are on the description below, so you can have a look at it after you've done this video. Okay, so let's try and add the first step and the second step really slowly though. Okay, so we'll start with the legs first. Ready? Five, six, seven. A and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now I'm going to change the step to just the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now, shall we try and do it a little faster? Just so we get the feel of the movement. Ready? Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now, if you want to challenge yourselves, as I said, those of you who can do it, if you have already been doing other exercises and you have a good uh, stamina level, you can try adding a little hop to both the movements but please do it only if it's possible don't force yourself to do something your body is not ready to do okay build it up gradually ready five i'm going to add a hop to the, the sequence okay five six seven and one two three four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two and change one two three four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two one and relax super duper excellent so this is uh, the lesson for today uh, i've also put uh, one minute and three minute uh, videos on my channel with some of these steps from the original video that i have produced so you can once as you're learning the steps you can try them with those videos i'll share the link of that video uh, in the description so you can try the steps with the original video and you'll get to, you'll get to feel the movement and you'll get to do it with me um, uh, with the rest of the crew as well okay that i've got i've got some lovely dancers with me so we've done this together this video was produced in india it was recorded in india and and today being a nice sunny day in in england i thought let's recreate that feel and work out outside normally 
can't work out like this when it's cold. So I work out in my studio, but today I thought, let's do it outside. So well done all of you. Please do like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon for notification of the uploads. Please check out the description uh, after, uh, of this video. And I shall see you in my next video. Take care. Have a fabulous day. Thank you. Bye.